Hi, it's Motorola Droid Help and Info, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your boot, uh, boot screen on your Droid. Um, so please subscribe and comment. So first thing you need to do is plug your Droid into your computer and unlock it. Then pull down the notification bar, and where it says USB debugging, mine says connected right now, but just tap on USB debugging, it'll open up the settings, and make sure USB debugging is checked. So when you check it, this notification will come up just click OK and you're good to go now you're just gonna have to go on your computer well now you just go on your computer and you're gonna go to the site developer.android.com hit enter and you wanna go to the SDK section and you wanna download the one that's for your correct for your operating system so for me I'm using Mac so I download the Mac version Accept the terms, click download, click OK, and make sure you have this file set to open. I accidentally had it as zip, or save. So, once the file is done downloading, we're just going to rename it and put it in the right spot. So, give it a second. Now, this tutorial works for Windows, too. So, if you're on Windows, just place it on the root of your C drive. Okay, so now you're going to want to take the file, unzipped version, and rename it something short. So, for me, I'm going to name it Android, and I'm going to copy it to my user folder. But if you're on Windows, copy it to the root of your C drive, or your root, just copy it to the root of your C drive. Then you want to copy the folder to the root, to the correct spot, like I said. So... having some trouble and you just paste it to the spot and now that you're done with that we're gonna open up a site and the site is called droidboots.com so type in the name droidboots.com click go to the download section for boot animations and you can pick any one you want, it doesn't matter, just pick the one you like the most. So, I clicked some random one in this, but I changed it at the end, as you'll see, to the Modern Warfare 2 one. So, you have to save the file, you don't unzip this one. Save the file, open the folder, and you have to copy the file. And you want to copy it to the either the root of your C drive if you're on Windows, or your user folder if you're on Mac. And then you want to go to Android slash Tools or whatever you name the Android SDK, and you have to paste it there. And now you're going to rename it, just highlight and click enter, to just boot animation.zip. That's it. And then you have to open up terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows. And if you're on Windows, just ignore the dot slashes. And then you want to type cd android slash tool, and then c dot slash adb devices to make sure your devices connect. If it's not, then you probably forgot to enable the debugging. Then you want to type in the following command, and it'll also be in the sidebar if this is too fast. And if it says, like, it transferred a certain amount of data in a certain amount of seconds, then you're done. And this is what mine looks like. So, this is Motorola Droid Help and Info, and thanks for watching, and Please subscribe.